Hello, I'm Rupert83. I'm going to take make a uh, short uh, tutorial video on how to set up a, a Dazzle capture card um, with Amorex so that you can uh, load that into OBS to be able to uh, properly uh, play the uh, the audio, which is uh, a pretty common problem with the uh, the Dazzles. Uh, there's something specific with the software that doesn't play well with a lot of other pieces of software, but Amorex kind of a man in the middle piece of software that will uh, enable you enable you to do that. Um, so I, and I could put this link in the, uh, in the description, but basically, uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to get the Amorex software. Um, and you want to use version 3.10. There's an older two point something version. I don't remember the exact, um, version number for that, but it's kind of, it's kind of buggy. Uh, so this one works, definitely works better. Uh, so when you get to this page, you've got your big blue download link here. You'll click on download and it'll download a zip file. So we'll just go ahead and open the zip file and we will, I'm going to put the, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to put this on the desktop. Um, you can put it in your program files or where, wherever you would like to do that. Um, so now that we've got that extracted, we'll open the folder. And you've got several files in here. Uh, the one for the program that you want to use is called amrectv.exe. You can make a desktop shortcut or whatever you generally like to do with things like that. Um, uh, so before we actually launch this, uh, there's an installer down here. Well, there's two installers down here that say, say live setup. Um, there's one that's got EN at the end of it, and then there's just this one. Um, this one's in English, this one's in Japanese. You can run either one, but if you uh, prefer to read things in English, then go ahead and launch this one. We'll do the English one. Uh, what this actually does is it allows you to configure Amarek as a video capture device that you can import into um, OBS. Uh, you don't have to do this. Uh, I generally recommend that you do. Um, if you don't set this up, then what some people will actually do is do a window capture on the Amarek uh, preview window. But this one generally works out a little better and it's a little less fussy at times. Uh, so let's go ahead and just install this. This is just a generic installing you next through it. No big deal. And it shouldn't take very long. It only takes a few seconds to set that up. So now that we've installed that as well, let's go ahead and launch the Amarek TV program here and of course it's going to pop up on my other screen so you get a you'll get this little window to begin with that says please choose a video capture device input and format so we'll click ok and you'll get this window and it's on the graph one um, tab up here so what you want to do first of all is out of this list you want to pick your um, capture card and so mine's a Dazzle DVC-100. If you've got a Dazzle, I know they've got a few different model numbers on there, so it might be slightly different, but whatever your capture card is called, you want to pick that here. Uh, for this, you've got, you don't have to really worry about any of these inputs except for composite or S-video. This generally picks what your default connection will be. So if you're using S-video, for the most part with your capture card you can pick this and it will default to S video if you're using composite you can use that you can always toggle in between the two of them uh, this just sets the default for your for your own convenience um, in this window you've got a bunch of different resolutions um, at different frame rates this one automatically su suggested 720 by 480 at 29.97 frames per second um, that's the default that one should be fine you can pick different ones if you want. Um, some of these don't work very well um, when I've tried these in the past. So I would probably go with something like this. You don't want any of the 25 frames per second ones. Uh, that's more more along, I believe that should be more along the lines of PAL. Um, so we'll just leave the default for this one. This one should be fine. Uh, for the audio capture device, you should have one that says Dazzle DVC 100 audio device. We'll go ahead and pick that and it'll auto populate your sound over here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit, hit apply here and we'll go to the next page uh, for graph two. 
Um, there's a couple of uh, settings on here. I usually like to set the aspect ratio just to 4.3. You can make your own ratio. You can do not a point and you can kind of mess around with it. Um, but I think explicitly setting it to 4.3 eliminates some issues of it actually trying to stretch it out and um, some other little nuances like that. Um, so the next section is deinterlacing. So you can either do the deinterlacing um, with Amarek because it has its own deinterlacer, um, or you can opt uh, opt out of that and use the deinterlacing function in a, in OBS itself. I wouldn't recommend doing deinterlacing on both. Um, so uh, I actually personally use the deinterlacing through Amarek. It works fairly well. Um, so if you want to do that, so we're uh, so for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to to uh, do the uh, deinterlacing through here. Uh, so I usually pick top field first, and then under function, I pick for retro game. Sometimes playing around these settings and changing those will give you different results. Some settings may work a little better for you, maybe not. These are the ones that work pretty well for me, uh, but that's not always consistent across everyone's devices. Um, display rotation, we don't want to do that. Scan line doubler, um, I don't really notice a lot of difference with that, either enabling or disabling that, so you can play around that if you wish. And we'll hit apply and we'll go to graph three. Um, the top section we don't really care about. Um, for this section, this is where we actually enable it to be able to pick, be picked up as a video capture device in OBS. Um, so we want to check this box here that says live enable. And for the resize, I generally just put in the same resolution that we picked on the first page. So for this one, it's 720 by 480. So we'll put that in there. Uh, leave that at line one. Um, so for the frame rate, um, if you're doing deinterlacing through OBS, you can leave this at 30. If you're doing it through Amarek, which is what I'm doing here, I'm going to change it to 60 uh, because the deinterlacing will actually give you an output of 60 frames per second, well, almost 60 frames per second. Uh, but if you don't deinterlace, then it's going to be closer to 30. So we'll set that to 60 um, and we'll hit apply there. Uh, there's a bunch of other options on the rest of these tabs here. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not going to go over those. You can play around with those if you wish. Um, but getting it set up it set up in OBS, you don't have to worry about those. Um, audio settings, whatever it gives you for the default should be fine. So we'll go ahead and click OK here. And we should get, here's, well, if I can move my Amarek window. Okay, so those, there's the Amarek window. And you should be able to hear the game audio through that. And you've got a few functions here. You can click the mute button here and it'll mute the audio. And if you right click on the uh, the image here, you can, uh, you've can you got several different options, but basically the most notable ones I want to point out is the input and channel. Like if you need to switch your input to composite or S video, you can pick that here. Uh, you can change the output volume here. You've got every, no sound to max. Standard usually works pretty well. Uh, but if you need to make some minor adjustments to it, um, like if it's too quiet, you can you can boost the output volume here. Uh, to get back to that configuration window we were in, there's a little config option here. Um, but that's most of what you need to know for, uh, for this screen. Uh, so now that we've got that set up, I'm going to go ahead and mute this. Uh, but now that we have that set up, I'm going to bring up OBS. And we're going to add it as a video capture device, so we'll add a new video capture device and we'll just call it Amarek 2. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, I'm setting it up as Amarek 2 because I've already got my regular Amarek configured on here. So we'll go ahead and click that. And here in your drop down, so you want to pick the Amarek video capture. You don't want to pick your what your uh, capture card is called. Uh, you want to pick the one that says Amarek video capture. So we'll click that, and there's your game. And for the resolution FPS type, generally for me, if I just leave it at the default, everything's fine with that. 
Um, probably the only other thing I want to go over here is the audio output mode. If you want to just have the audio controlled and be able to hear it through your uh, computer speakers or headset or, or whatever you're using with your computer, uh, you can just leave this the same. Like I said, on this window, you can play the sound or mute it, depending on what you want to do. If you don't want to actually hear this on your computer, but you still want your stream to be able to hear it, uh, we can set this up a little bit differently. Um, or you, uh, you could also do it both ways. Uh, but what we'll do here is, uh, let's say that you do want to have the uh, game output sound go to your stream, but you don't want to hear it through your own computer. You can check this box here that says use custom audio device. And you can pick, um, you've got your computer's audio devices here. Um, and I think the one I want to use here, of course, this is going to vary based on what you have on your own computer. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, uh, you want to use the Amerik audio capture. That's what you want to use. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a little, uh, I, uh, got a little distracted there. Uh, so you want to use the Amerik audio capture and you can see, uh, we'll go ahead and click okay here. You can see on the Amerik, there's a new audio thing here called Amerik 2, which is the source that you had. Uh, you can see that the game audio is playing through that, but it's not playing through the computer. Um, which would be for the uh, for the desktop audio. So uh, you can do that if you want to, and it's got its own separate volume volume controls and all that. That's just if you want to set it up that way. Um, some people just use the desktop audio, and that's fine too. Um, one other little quick thing I will show as well, and some people don't know this, like if you want to crop out some of these um, black borders, um, that the game can have on it or like some of the overscan and things like that um, if you want to crop those out you can hold down the alt key and then start dragging over and the line will turn green so we can just go over there like that and you can do each each of the four sides if you want to remove all that extra space when you're uh, setting up your layout for that so we'll just do that and we'll move it up in the corner here and we can just resize it and there you've got the extra space cropped out and then pretty much you can take up the whole screen for that if if that's the kind of setup that you want to do uh but in any case that should be it as far as getting it set up in um set up in obs um like i said there's a few settings that you can play around with to get the uh the best uh quality that you can out of it but uh Hopefully uh, you find this helpful, and uh, we will see you around. Thanks a lot.